Hello again. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. It's me, Asinkwar. And today we're going to be looking at some basic animation to get you started. Now, when you open up After Effects to create any composition, the first things you want to consider is exactly what do you want in your animation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import an image, and to import, you will double click on your project window. I'm just going to import some stock photos I found on DeviantArt. That's one. And I'll just be using this one for now. Now, in any animation, although you have a project, you need to actually have a composition. And to create a composition, you could either go up here, create new composition. Right? This is one option. Or you could simply drag your object into the composition window. What it will automatically do is that it will make the composition size the size of your image. But we don't really want to do that right now. So I'm going to create a new composition. Ask me what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it main. And here we have presets for various um, sizes and formats that you're going to export to. Whether it be full screen, movie, or you want to just do something for the web, or even a small thing. I'm just going to leave it at this, and I'm going to make my animation about 15 seconds long. And here is the duration. It tells you the start, start time code. That means you start from 0, 0, 0, because you can actually start from after 0 if you so desire. And here, hours, minutes seconds, frames. And our frame rate is going to be 29.97. So okay. Alright, now that we have our composition here. If for any reason at all you want to change the composition settings, you click on composition, go on composition settings, and you're able to go back and change whatever it is you want. Even the background color can be changed. I press OK. I'm going to import this into my composition. Just drop it in there and actually when you drag it towards the center it will snap right now this particular photo is really large and if I should zoom out and show you thirty-three percent still really large I'm gonna zoom out some more and that's where the bounding box for that particular image is now I could simply leave it like this or I could shrink it down and I'm gonna leave it like this now, one of the familiar options you will have in this is that you're able to lock layers, prevent them from being editable. Now, I have that there. It's going to fit up to 100%. All right. I'm going to create another object. Right click, new solid. Now, my solid, I'm just going to make it 100 by 100 pixels. Now the thing about the solid is that it's a basic object in After Effects, used for many, many, many things. And it's one of those objects that you usually apply your effects to. Right? Now by default you would have a solid size that will be the composition size. But you can also change the size if you want to. I'm going to change mine to 100 by 100 just to create a simple block. And that's what I have right there. And as you can see, as soon as I create a new solid or a new object, one, it appears in the project window, that means I can reuse it, and two, it also appears in the timeline as a part of the layers. Now, as you import objects or as you put them inside your timeline, the layers are created automatically, so you don't need to worry about creating a new layer or not. Now, as this is a basic, text, uh, basic animation tutorial, some of the basic properties that you're able to edit with any object. If you look down here, you will see an expand option. If you expand it there, you see transform. Transform. Now, your anchor point is your, well, some would call it a pivot point. That's where your rotation, your scaling up occurs. Uh, your positioning, no, it's pretty much when you move it around. Scaling occurs. 
when you resize your object rotation you could either use this here to rotate it or you can use the rotate tool to rotate it in whatever direction you want to rotate it in it's gonna and your opacity is how transparent you want it to be I'm just gonna reset these by clicking on the reset transform options now let's create a simple animation now right here we have our solid and we could simply make it a little smaller now notice even though it's small as I scrub through the timeline there's no changes happening this is because you actually need to keyframe every transformation you want to do but it's a lot more simpler than if you were using say flash or some other animation studio or program now the first thing you need to know is that over here you have what is called a time vary stopwatch which toggles the ability to be transformed as an animation over time right so what we want to do we want to change the position from one position to another position so I'm gonna keyframe or turn on the time vary stopwatch and it drops in automatically a keyframe right there and I'm gonna move it over time and if I move it somewhere based on where I put in the timeline it automatically creates a keyframe for me. So it's simply a matter of dragging it to somewhere in time and then after dragging it changing whatever properties you want to change. Now even as I'm creating this you notice that it creates a nice curve for me and as you can see here we have some bezier points that you can actually edit that curve. So it doesn't have to be a stiff transformation, meaning from one to one and then back again. But you could actually make it curve. So it does something like that. All right. So I'm going to just play around with this, carry it down a little bit, move it across again, down here. Maybe up here. Right. <clears throat> now, the next thing to note is that even though I have keyframes here, and I want to, for instance, jump from one to another, you can jump from one to another by holding shift and moving closer to it, or you can simply click on the left or right from the keyframe. Depending on where you are, it'll just go to the next keyframe. So you can feel free to edit that. So let me just remove all my keyframes by clicking on the time very stopwatch. And when you remove them, it removes all of them. So the only way to actually get back what you had before is to undo by pressing Ctrl Z. All right, so we want this thing, first of all, instead of what we did a while ago. I want it to appear on the screen first of all. So what I'm going to do by default, I'm going to set my opacity to zero. Then I'm going to turn on the time very stopwatch. So from zero to full, like so. So first step here is, then I want it to, at second number four, I can move back by one frame by holding control and one. Turn on my position. And I'm just going to have it move to the right. Right? And that's okay for me. Right? Afterwards, if I should look at where my anchor point is, that's where it is. I'm going to leave that alone for now. What I'm going to have happen 
is that I'm going to have it appear. It's going to go across like this. But when it goes across, I want a text to fade in. So here's how I'm going to do that. Nice little text here. The name of this text is called Small Fonts. Always download it online. So here's what I want to happen. Right now it's not doing anything, but I want the text to start appearing right here. So I'm going to just drag this and that actually clips the layer in the animation. So it doesn't appear there first, but when it reaches here, it starts appearing. And our animation looks like this, but it doesn't quite fade in like I would want it to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn on the transform property, the transform property for opacity. And you can actually um, do that by pressing T. T is for opacity. P is for position, R is for rotation, S is for scale, and A is for the anchor point. Now if you want to, for instance, have two appear at the same time, for instance, transformation for opacity and position, simply click on one or press the shortcut for one and press shift and press the shortcut for the second one. And that will make it appear. So position, not going to use that one, we're going to change the opacity from zero keyframe that in to 100 voila and now our text does that so that was a simple little animation I hope you learned much and remember it's always good to practice Till we meet again, take care and God bless.